All right, welcome to our Christmas Eve devotional. Uh, we were driving up and we were hoping to see you guys in person tonight, but with the roads being so icy, we didn't want uh, to risk anyone's safety. So uh, we're gonna shoot you a quick uh, devotional video. We're gonna walk right, right through the same thing we were gonna do for our uh, devotional this evening. And so I wanted to ask you a quick question. What do you think is the very best gift? Ethan, what's the very best gift? A scooter. A scooter. Luke, what's the very best gift? Jesus. <laughs> the perfect Sunday school answer, Jesus. Gabriel, what's the best gift? Um, it's hard to, it's hard to say a best gift. Okay. All right. Well, I would say one of the, the say best, what would you, what did you think he would say? A model train set. A model train set. Okay. That would yeah, be a, yeah, I am looking for That'd that. be a really neat set. That'd be a great gift. But one, one of the things I wanted to focus our attention around this Christmas Eve, as we're getting ready with the, the Jenga tower and having wonderful food, I can smell some pies in the kitchen, is thinking about the rescue of our souls. That's the gift that comes uh, in the manger this season is the rescue of our souls. The Prince of Heaven came to us. He didn't wait for us to go to him. He came to us. He came for you and he came for me all those years ago. So the scriptures tell us, and this is out of the Gospel of John, says, The true light that gave light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, those who believe in him, in his name, he gave the right to be called the children of God. Yeah. Now, this should sound familiar, because one of the elders did a message on this just, I think it was three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, you got a message on this passage out of John. And um, how many of you like to, to see Christmas lights? Do you guys see, see yes, Christmas lights? Yes, I Isn't love, that fun? I love seeing, seeing all the colorful yeah, lights. Yeah. Well, I want to, uh, the reason that we like light so much is our eyes are drawn to it. When, when something lights up, your eyes are drawn automatically to the light. And so with Christmas lights, uh, there's all of this bright light and color and creativity, all of this amazingness going on. And so I want to draw our attention to the greatest light, and that is Jesus. Jesus was the light of the world that was coming down from heaven to us. He knew we couldn't make it to him, so he came to us. He came and he lived a real, true, genuine life. He is the one true light. There is no light greater or better than him, than Jesus. The world rejected him. He came to the world to redeem the world, and the world did not understand it, and the world did not accept him. And to everyone who says yes to Jesus, you get to be a son, a daughter in the, the kingdom of heaven. So that was John's point. John's point was we get to be the kingdom kids. Together, you and I, we get to be a part of the kingdom. And as we focus our attention on the eve of his birth, I want to uh, think into the future. The very first time that Jesus had a big teaching moment where he did the longest part of teaching, he said, you, this is in Matthew chapter 5, 14, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. And again, thinking about the twinkling lights and drawing your eye, Jesus would say this to you and to I this Christmas season. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Focus on doing what God has called you to do this Christmas season. Now, what could that be like? Learning to be a light. Who do you think we can bless this week? Who's someone that you think we can bless? Snoopy. No, I don't think we can bless Snoopy because Snoopy's a character. Who do you think we can bless this week? <laughs> how do you bless Jesus? Is there, is there how, always going to be Jesus? Uh, how is it that we bless someone this week? Maybe... Uh, someone that is close to us, maybe someone in our family. Maybe it's someone we've lost contact with. And if at all possible, when we're blessing people this week, look for someone that you can secretly bless. Who is it that you can find a way to love them in Jesus' name and take no credit so that all the glory goes back to God? Uh, uh, find someone you can bless this week. Now, the star of the show is not actually this beautiful face. 
No, actually, this beautiful face. The star of the show is the, the next Jenga one. set. Not the Jenga set. It's the baby Jesus. Uh, we're gonna fix our eyes on him. He gave up the security of heaven, his the the strongest position in all of eternity with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He gave that up to live a frail human life for you and for me. And so we draw all of our attention. He is the greatest star. We're going to focus our attention on him. And so let's take a minute and let's pray together as the family of God and we'll close down our devotional. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow morning and you'll get to see um, almost all of the Grant family tomorrow. So let's take a moment and let's pray this Christmas Eve. Jesus, we want to thank you so much for all that you are. And this, uh, the eve before we celebrate your birth, as we give gifts to one another to remember the greatest gift, you, we thank you for all that you've done. I pray that you keep our beloved safe. I pray that you keep them uh, warm. I pray that you would just continue to bless and to provide uh, for all of the beloveds of Resonate Jesus and all believers uh, in St. Helens and around the world. Lord God, would you be continuing that good and perfect work that could only be from you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you are and all that you do. And all God's children said... Amen. 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 And we've got a Christmas dog. I thought that would be that would be for Donnie and Karen. So the Christmas dog. He's cute. And cut.